In this exercise, we're given a parameter and we're passing it into the method, which is recursion. And we need to solve for the output. First, we're given the parameter of eight. We have a public static void method. So it's not gonna return anything and it's just gonna change things inside of it. So we need to be in our else statement or if statement is not applicable here. Going into our else statement, we have system out the n, which is eight here, modulus two, and that's gonna be zero because the remainder of eight divided by two is zero. Then we have a space. Now we have a recursion mystery two. So we have to put it back into our method with recursion. So we're gonna pass eight here, but we're gonna divide it by two and in dividing it by two, it's gonna be four. So now we are going to go through our code again. We still need to be in our else statement and it's going to be the um, four modulus two and that's going to be zero as well since four divided by two leaves no remainder. And we're gonna have a space. And then we need to go back into our method because of recursion. So we have four here divided by two goes back in here. It's gonna give us a two. We need to go through our code again. We're going to be in our else statement and we have two modulus two, which is zero. We have another space. And now we have our two that needs to go back into our recursion mystery two. So we go from here into our method. Two divided by two is one. So we're gonna have one here. That means that we have hit our base case if n is equal or less than or equal to one. So after hitting our base case, we print out what's inside of it. So we have a colon. Now we need to go back and finish our code because we still have code underneath our recursion part. So if we go from one back into our code for two and we're gonna have n plus a space. Our n here is two, so we're gonna have two. Oh, there is also a, a space after the colon. So there's gonna be a space, two, and then from here, we're gonna go into this two, but we need to go back, so we're gonna come back here, and then we need to have a, a space. Output four. And then after we output four, we're gonna have a space, then we need to go up here and then look back here and we are going to have a eight. So our answer is just gonna be zero, 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 colon two, four, eight. The second part here is similar between the first and this last one. So we're just gonna do the last one. And in doing the last one, we're past the parameter 46. So we're gonna be in our else statement and we're gonna have 46 modulus two. That's going to give us a zero and we're gonna have a space after that. And we have a recursion right here. So we're gonna have 46 as our parameter and we need to divide that by two when we put it back in here. So we're gonna have 23 as our parameter. With 23 as our parameter, we're gonna be back in our else statement we're gonna have the modulus of two because we need to look at our sys out here. And 23 divided by 22 gives us the remainder, or 23 divided by two gives us the remainder of one. We have a space. We need to have our recursion part. So 23 is our parameter. We are dividing that by two. And since it's an integer, we are going to round it down one. So we're basically dividing by 22 and that's gonna give us 11. From here, we are gonna go through our sys out again, and the modulus of 11 is one. We have a space, and we are back in our recursion method. So we have an 11 here, we take as a parameter. Since it's an integer, we round it down, so it's 10 divided by two, that's gonna give us a five. From this five, we have to look at our sys out. Five modulus two is a one, we have a space, and then we need to go back into our recursion. So we have a five here and it is gonna have to round down to four divided by two. It's gonna give us two. And our, the modulus of two is zero. So we're gonna have a zero here and then a space. 
next we need to put our two back into our recursion and we have two divided by two so that's going to give us one we have finally hit our base case so we're going to be in our if statement now from here we're just going to out we're going to output a semicolon and then we need to go back in because we still have more code we need to look at sys out n and then a space our n here is a two so we have two space we need to go back up here come down here again and we are going to sys out the n which is five and then a space and then keep going for the rest of them so we're going to sys out 11 23 and 46. so that is going to be the answer